Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Open new, and select your FBX or, OBJ file. Then change document resolution, according to your PC. And in template, select PBR, metallic roughness. Then it loads your 3D model. After that, first and most important step, is to bake mesh maps. Which we will find in, texture set settings. In baking window, select output size, 2048. And disable ID, normal and thickness, as for adding edge wear effect, we don't need these options, and it also make baking faster. Press, bake selected textures. It will take 1 to 2 minutes, and we are done with baking. Remember, to make proper baking textures sets, or map, your 3D model, needs to be properly UV unwrapped. Otherwise, it will create irregular patterns, and seams. Delete the default, layer 1 and add a layer group. Then in materials tab, search for plastic and, choose plastic, glossy pure. Drag and drop it, onto the layer group. After that, go to properties fill, and change projection to triplanner. After that scroll down, and go to roughness, Here search for grunge. And select any one of the grunge maps. Now if we adjust our lighting, we can see grunge map, on our 3D model. Scroll up, and we can adjust roughness according to our liking. Let me choose a different grunge map, and change the scale. To disable this box, click here. Now to change color, scroll down in properties fill tab, and go to base color. After that, click on our material, and we add a filter to add extra layer of realism to our material. Search for galvanized, and as you can see, it adds a galvanized look, on top of our selected material. You can adjust its scale and intensity. 2,000 years later, six and a half hours later, a few inches later, day two, day three. Now search for iron, and select iron raw. Then drop it, above our first material. Don't get confused here, if our previous material disappears. First, change the projection and scale. Then select the material, which is iron raw, and add a black mask. Then add a generator, and select edge wear. And the moment you are waiting for, we get this egg wear effect just like that. Remember guys, we can change level of details, in shader settings. We can adjust all wear properties here, according to our liking. Now add a fill layer, and this layer must always remain on top, 
because it is a dirt layer and dirt always remains on top. Select a dark color, and add a black mask. And add a generator. In generator, select dirt, and that's it, you get a wonderful dirt effect on your mesh. You can change dirt properties here. Thank you guys, for watching full video, please consider subscribing and liking this video.